Hi, I'm Stuart from Australian Clutch. I'm just going to run through some basic cleaning and lubrication procedures that are required before actually installing your clutch in the vehicle. The first important thing to do is make sure that your transmission bell housing and the back of the engine are clean and free of any old clutch dust or oil or lubrication that could cause any contamination to the new clutch parts. Once the bell housing and back of the engine are clean, we're going to lubricate the spline and the end of the input shaft using our ACS spline grease. So all we do is cut the end off of that tube, squeeze a bit out onto the input shaft, smear it around. We also smear a bit into the centre of the disc on that spline there. And then we'll just slide that on, rotate it a couple of times make sure we've got full contact with all that grease and we always make sure that we just remove the edge of the spline grease that ends up there because otherwise what happens is that'll smear and it'll end up onto the clutch facing and cause some slipping so what we also want to do is just put a small amount of spline grease onto the end of that input shaft there to locate in the back of the spigot bearing the next few components that we want to check are lubricated correctly are the release bearing and the fork. So with the release bearing we want to make sure that the centre in a diameter of the release bearing has got some lubrication on it. We also want to probably put a little bit of lubrication onto the snout of the gearbox here and then we'll just slide that on and check it has a smooth operation and make sure there's no excess grease on the back here. The other part of the release bearing we need to make sure we are lubricating is the contact patches for the clutch fork. And we also wanna make sure we do the sides here too where the clutch fork is constantly running. If these components run dry, then they'll experience excess wear and quite often excess noise as well. The clutch fork itself we need to lubricate in where the pivot ball runs in here and we also need to lubricate in where the push rod from the slave cylinder runs constantly as well. And we'll just double check that we've got the pivot ball on the transmission also lubricated to make sure we don't get any excess noise or wear and tear on these components.